Google has been working on how Chrome handles its autofill feature for about a month now. And one of the new features that they have currently added into Chrome beta that's currently rolling out to a select number of people and will soon make its way to the full stable version of Chrome is called Touch to Fill. And it's for Chrome's autofill user username and password feature. So like I said, if you're using Chrome beta, you may have already seen this. If you haven't, that's because it hasn't rolled out to you yet. So I'm going to show you how to enable that. But I'm also going to show you how to disable that because it is going to change the login process. And some people just might not like that. And this is also going to work for people who are using the regular stable version of Chrome as well. Again, for those who are using stable version of Chrome, you're going to need to enable this feature right now. But this looks to be rolling out to the stable version and it will be on by default in the very near future. So again, you will be able to use this tutorial to disable the new user interface for passwords if you're not a fan of it. So first, let me show you how the current login process works. Whenever we tap on sign in for say Amazon and we're going to be presented with a login panel, as long as you have your Google account syncing to Chrome, then it's going to automatically fill in that username and password. And we can see that on other places as well. Just by default, it's going to show is going to automatically fill in a username and password. If we wanted to, if we had multiple logins for a website, we can tap on that and that gives us a manage passwords option a and then the ability to change and switch between our user accounts for that website and that works for all websites. However, Google has been working on a new card-like interface that changes how this works and will actually stop Chrome from autofilling a username and password completely until you tap it. And that's why I say that some people might choose to disable this feature. And we can find this by going to Chrome colon slash slash flags. So instead of typing in a web address, you just type in Chrome colon flash forward slash forward slash flags and then press go. And then you're going to tap to search and you're just going to search for touch to fill. You can even just search for touch to if you want. And that's going to bring up this one feature at the top which if you are in the stable version of Chrome right now, it's going to be set to default. I just had it set to disabled so that I could actually show you because I had already changed it. However, to manually enable this new touch to fill user interface for passwords on Chrome, we're going to change this default option right here to enable and when we do that we're going to see that toolbar pop up the pop up there at the bottom with the relaunch button that we can simply tap to automatically close chrome and open it back up with this new feature enabled and that's required before that new feature will actually start working so once we have done that we can now go back to any user interface or user login page in Chrome. So we'll say we're back in Amazon, we go to sign in. Like I said, it's not going to automatically fill in a username and password. Instead, now the upcoming user interface change is going to require us to tap. And whenever we tap, you're going to see this card come up there at the bottom. 
Now, if we wanted to, we could just swipe this down and log in manually. But I would say nine times out of 10, whenever somebody taps and logs into a device or a website on their own device, they're going to want to access that. And this works on all, all websites now. You can see whenever a website loads, it's not going to automatically fill it like before. And it's only going to bring up the options whenever we tap that button or that login box. And like I said, that's how to enable this for the current stable version of Chrome. This will also work in the beta version of Chrome. If you do not see this, this new user interface whenever you try to log into a website on Chrome for Android, then go ahead and go to the flags page and manually enable this. Once you do that and relaunch it, you're going to have that feature there. If you currently have that feature and you want to get rid of it, like I said, we just need to go into the flags page, change this touch to fill option to disabled. And then whenever we, we relaunch, it's going to be using the default and the old school username and password login autofill. So that's Chrome's new touch to fill user interface for passwords that they've been working on for Chrome on Android. And that's how to turn it on as well as turn it off.